Warning! The following show may contain strong language and might not be suitable for younger viewers. Okay, we've run out of jokes. You try coming up with these every week. Um, so, the morning pass, the, the evening passes with a relatively uneventful, like, you know, compared to your, how, how you spent the day. Morning, work. morning comes and, um, yesterday it was, um, the snow was settled, today it's snowing even more, so it's a very, very white day outside on the streets of New York. Yeah. Morning, boys! Is <laughs> how are you feeling, Frank? How's your ribs? Feeling cracked. <laughs> It's gonna be like a running joke forever. <laughs> <laughs> Cracking ribs. <laughs> um. So what's the plan? Are we gonna go to the the book, uh, the publisher? Yeah, I think that's. There is a good. tele. Or we could call. Which one had a telephone number? Two seconds. The imports place. We could try and call the imp. Actually, no. What imports place did they have? What what was their business? It was, it was just Silas a, and Quinn, wasn't it? Was it was just a business card that we had for that. It had a name written on it, didn't it, or something? Hmm. I think your best bet will be the publishers and see what the books he was after. Yeah, let's head there. If you're happy with that. Can you have you got a car or? I do. <laughs> I do. I do. But you're probably quicker taking a taxi or the sub or the subway will probably be faster. What did subway last night? Let's try taxi. <laughs> All right, or all four, you just gonna take a taxi to um, the publisher's office then. Mm-hmm. All right. All right. This I'm, gonna, take... I'm gonna sit back here. <laughs> Takes a little bit of time to get a taxi because things are running a bit slow today. What with the weather sort of jamming up the streets. Yeah. Um, but uh, you know, within within an hour, you're at um, you're at the um, publisher's office. Um, hold on a second. What's, his, what's the name of the place? So you're at the uh, you're at, you're at Prospero House. Um, it's a sm it's a it's not it's not a huge building it's like um it's like um the, you know they don't actually do printing or anything here so it's just a small office on like the third floor of a big office building you see like the little, like um plaque in the entranceway telling you to go to the third floor um so you head up there and there's um you you knock on the door and you'll I assume you knock on the door to go in and um there's just two people sat inside a woman and a man yeah a relatively i think she's how what's her age uh, she should be in here somewhere. Maybe she's Have you got a charm, Ross, or not? No, you might not want to. Oh no! <laughs> no, no, wait a minute. I'm trying to get the, I'm trying to get her age. Age is just a number. No, she's an old woman. There's an old woman and an old man sat in there. Sat in there. Can still charm an old woman. Can you? I don't know if he's got charm. I guess um, you must be Miriam. She says, "Yes, I am. How can I help you? Welcome to uh, welcome to Prospero House." Ah, it's nice to meet you. We've got some bad news, though. Oh, you know your the author Jackson Elias. Uh, this the old man look. The man looks up. Jackson, yes, some, one of our one of our best dead clients. Yesterday. Um, they're both like dead. they're both like like <gasps> kind of like shocked. Sorry to be the bearer of bad news, but um, he told us to meet him in this hotel, and he had some something for us. But obviously, with him being dead, we couldn't get that. Is there anything that's, you may know of this? That's terrible. That's terrible. Terrible news. He's um, I'm I'm very sorry to hear that. He's um, always been a very good client and a good friend. This is the man. The man talking, by the way, not the woman. He's right, basically right. he's her boss, so he's kind of just talking over her now, basically. Oh, rude. Yeah. Um, <laughs> you wouldn't know anything about his his newest book or anything that he was working on, or. Uh, yes, he did. Um, he did contact us a uh, recently. Um. He's, uh, he's, he, hold on a second, what does he say? Uh, I'm just reading what he says. So yes, we are, I, now you mention it, we did get a rather unusual letter from him. Um, 
uh, a few uh, a couple of months back. Uh, uh, see if we can dig it out, and uh, see if you can yeah, dig it thanks. out. And um, he uh, he asks uh, he asks he asks the Miriam to go dig it out, and she she pulls out a letter for you. I don't have this as a handout, but like you're probably better that way because this is like the most unreadable thing I've ever seen in one of these <laughs> books. I don't know if you how how readable. Like, can you actually see how like bad the oh, text God. is? Why the? Uh, it's like a doctor's handwriting. I don't, anyway, I'll read it out to you as best I can. Uh. Dear Jonah, big news. This is possibly there. There, sorry, there is a possibility that not all the members of the Carlisle expedition died. I have a lead, though the authorities here deny the cult angle. The native singer, uh, the native singer, different tune. You wouldn't believe the stories. Some juicy notes coming your way. This one may make us all rich. Blood and kisses, Jay. P.S. I'll need advance money to follow this one up. More later. Say blood and kisses. That's what you said, yeah, yeah. Ooh. Weirdo. Jeez. Well, he, he, he was the guy who wrote about cults. Mm. And this is, how did they get this, sorry? This was a letter he sent us, uh, he sent us, um, he sent us last year. Was it from Egypt, by any chance? Uh, let me see, there should be some information on this. <laughs> no, this is from Hong Kong. No, oh. back you know, back you know, Shanghai. Um, and so yeah, uh, yeah. So we got we got we got this um we got this um this this letter from him came from Hong Kong. Hmm. Is there anything else that he'd sent or anything or? Well, you, you know, he, we sent him the advance absolutely. Um, and then we didn't hear from him for a while, and then and it wasn't until the uh, middle of last month when he wired yeah. from London that uh, that we heard from him again. He was sound, he sounded very excited and, to be honest, a bit crazy, but he said he'd been to China, and to Africa, of course, and to London for a few days, where he dug up a whole load of stuff. He said he said he'd seen unbelievable things and mentioned some kind of plan or conspiracy. I mean, it, it all sounded very grand, but uh, whenever he rings us about a new book, it always sounds seems very important and grand to him. But he said this was he seemed very really excited this time. I, I mean, I don't know. Um, you know, as I say, it didn't seem unusual, but at the same time, he was a lot more agitated than I've seen him in a long time. He said there was a timetable and that he needed to find the pissing missing pieces, but he wouldn't or couldn't explain more. <laughs> What's so funny? <laughs> the pissing. The, the pissing. <laughs> I didn't pick up on he that. He said he needed to find the pissing pieces. <laughs> Bloody pieces. <laughs> <laughs> That'd be a bit of a... Uh, but, um, but yeah, the last he said was the... Um, the uh, yeah, then he said he, the, the last... The pieces. <laughs> I love you guys. Uh, the wire only said he would be uh, soon be in New, New York and he took, a, he took a freighter over here the next morning. Look at Perry cowering from the camera. <laughs> <laughs> Don't look at me. He's blushing. <laughs> um, hold on a second. One second. He left us. Um, he left us some notes. The last I saw of him was a uh, was uh, a few days ago. He left us his notes on the book that he was working on. Could we see those, if possible? We are friends of his, but not just people off the streets. <laughs> uh, hold on a second. I'm not really. Way. She's like. Kieran's looking at me. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> You're so. It's like I'm not really sure if I should show you these. I mean, even if he if he is died and these are the last notes for this book, these could be worth something, especially to a to a publisher or a writer or someone else who wants to. We don't the... want them as such. We just want to see them. Well, if he's dead, I'm, I mean, I'm not sure. I mean, these feel like this is a matter for the police. Well, Rossi is next cop. Not a real cop. <laughs> <laughs> well, we're a trustworthy bunch. Yeah, I mean, purely just investigating the matter, to be fair. Like, uh. What do you mean, were you good friends? There's a lot. Desmond was. Yeah, I guess so. He's, he we spoke about his, uh, his books a lot, and I was fascinated by his work, but. Worked for him before. We've worked for him before. We've done other. Possibly our stories have appeared in some of his books. For all you know, I wouldn't like to say for certain. Huh, who? What's so what's your connection with the uh, with uh, with Jackson then? Um, well, he was a friend of I don't know if you know Zav. Oh yes, he spoke of Zav he, for many times. Yeah, well, we're an associate of his. 
Well, I suppose I suppose if you were if you were really truly a good friend of Jackson's, then he wouldn't mind. I mean, uh, to be honest, these notes worried me because uh, he 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 always. I mean, I, he he went deep into a lot of strange things, but um, I've never seen them really affect him before. But these notes, they I, they worried me. I felt like he'd um he was on the verge of becoming the kind of raving madman he used to write about. That's not good. Um, and so anyway, so again, uh, Jonah here asks Miriam to dig out the notes, and he passes them over, and um. So these are like a bunch of um, sheets of paper, um, each one with written on one side, paper clipped together into a set. They're um, reasonably well organized and seem complete, yet are remarkable for the absence of conclusions, connections, and clearly defined themes. The hand is strong and bold. So um, I can go through these for you if you want. Yeah. So set one of the Nairobi notes set forth the uh, the list of where is is planned basically the official the offices the officials and tribe which he visited searching for materials connected to cults and cult um, rituals nothing conclusive was learnt though Eli Elias discounts the official version of the Carlisle massacre so obviously he was very interested in the Carlisle massacre and was trying to mm. sort of prove it wrong yeah basically what? he was trying to follow the trail to figure out what happened uh, set. The, the second set of notes described him visiting the, the site of the, the supposed massacre. Um, he notes particularly the earth, the earth, you know, where the massacre occurred, is completely barren, and that all the tribes of the region avoid the place. They say it's cursed by the god of the black winds, um, whose home is the mountain top. So, the next set of notes is an interview with uh, Johnston Kenyatta, who says that the Carlisle murders may have been performed by the cult of the bloody tongue. He says that the cult reputedly is based in the mountains and that its high priestess is part of the Mountain of the Black Winds. Elias is um, politely sceptical, but Kenyatta insists upon this point. In quotes, Elias records that the regional in quotes, Elias records that the regional tribes fear and hate the bloody tongue, that tribal magic is no um, protection against the cult, and that the cult's god is not of Africa. Oh, some hefty stuff. Well there's a lot more there's a lot more there's more. A lot more. Mm, give it to me, Miriam. <laughs> <laughs> well, you're reading these yourself, Barrett, basically. Um, okay. Uh, so the next set of notes, it follows up on the Kenyatta interview, and he confirms that from uh, several good sources that the bloody tongue, you know, the cult, does exist, although he can't find any first-hand evidence of it. Um, tales include children st stolen for sacrifice, creatures with great wings are said to come down from the mountain of the black winds to carry away people. Um, the cult worships a god um, unknown, unknown to the local sort of folklorists, um, one fitting no tradition of the, uh, you know, there's no, there's no traditional African god that they're, they're clearly worshipping. This is something outside of that. Um, Elias in particular cites Sam Mariga Rastar. I don't, I don't know what that means. Uh, set five, the seven sets, by the way. Um, so the, set, the fifth set of notes says, uh, it's a single sheet reminding Elias that the Cairo based portion of the Carlisle itinerary must be examined carefully. He believes that the re that the reason which prompted uh, Carlisle believes that the reason, oh sorry, the reason which prompted Carlisle's Kenyan side trip is on the Nile somewhere. The Nile. So, Are we going to go as far as the Nile? That'd be awesome. Set six is a long interview with Lieutenant Mark Selkirk. This is a, um, a, a, a leader of the men who actually found the remains of the Carlisle expedition. Um, and a, and a, a Kenyan hand since the Great War. Importantly, Selkirk says that the bodies were remarkably undecayed for the length of time in which they'd been laying in the open. He, the, um, the, the uh, Mark commented, it was almost as if decay itself wouldn't come near the place. Secondly, the men had been torn apart, as if by animals, though what sort of animals would pull apart bodies so systematically he couldn't guess. Uh, unimaginable, inexplicable, he'd, um, he'd quoted as saying. And Selkirk agrees that the, the Nandis may have had something to do with the episode, but suspects that the charges against the ringleaders were trumped up. He said it wouldn't be the first time, he says rather cynically. And he confirms that of the dead bodies that they found of the expedition, none of them were Caucasians. Mm, which is contrary to what the uh, the newspaper suggests. Yeah, yeah, only the corpses of the Kenyan bearers were scattered across the barren plain. Uh, and mm. the final set of notes um, is another single sheet. And Elias ran into Nails Nelson at the Victoria Bar in Nairobi. Nelson had been a mercenary for the Italians on the Somali-Abyssinian border and had escaped into Kenya after double-crossing his employers. Mm. Nelson claims to have seen Jack Brady, who's, who's of the Carlisle exhibition, alive in Hong Kong in 1923, 
you know, which is um, way after the, the courts are declared. Yeah. yeah, which is when the courts are declared. Brady and the rest of the exhibition were dead. Brady seemed friendly, though guarded and taciturn. He did. Nelson, when he met him, didn't press the conversation. From this report, uh, Elias d- um, deduced that the other members of the expedition might still be alive. Oh, there is actually one final note. And in the final set of notes, um, uh, discusses a possible structure for the car for the for the book he is writing. But the book's mostly features with entry- entries like "tell what happened" and explain why. But he hasn't really like he's got all, he's got all these grand plans. These are all his notes for how he's going to put it together. But it's obviously he hasn't really clear in his head what what the book's going to be. Mm-hmm. And so those, those <coughs> these are the final notes that he left with the publisher about what he was working on. Wasn't there something sent from Hong Kong? Or he had a he had a pack of matches from Hong Kong. So yeah, that could... could have been from Brady. Possibly. I mean, yeah. just picked them up while he was there. He didn't. He, was he didn't meet. He didn't meet Brady, by the way. Oh right. Okay. Yeah. He oh, met... somebody else said they saw him. Yeah, someone else oh, said right. they'd seen Brady alive. Oh right. Actually, to be fair, I don't know if I don't know from what's being read here if Jackson did, but you you don't have that information that he met Brady yet. So yeah. I don't know if he did or not. Hmm. Well, um, hmm. I think that's all we need from these two. I don't know who we need to speak to next. I don't know unless unless you can find any magical books. <laughs> yeah, should I have a look? At, can I have a look around? See if there's anything else. Got some spot it's, hidden on the go. It's, it's, I don't think I will see it's anything. A, it's though. a book publishing office. I mean, what are you looking for? Yeah, I don't um, think publish magical books. Is there any... Spells? <laughs> no, no, I was going to ask. What was I going to ask? No. Um, I might just send you guys um, the JPEGs of the handout so you guys can look at them at your will because um, mm. I f- feel like you guys need to be referring to them more than you only saw them once. Yeah, I mean, just once, yeah. Me too, so at least we know that the newspapers hammed up this story to be... I'm sure they say it's like a, a race thing. Because they were what they were, white. So, well, if these people are still alive, why are they being covered up as being? We can we can go to the import place and see if he happened to send see... them anything. Yeah, I may have had something sent to him. I, I want to know who this Silas and Quain is. Is that like a, an African name, a Kenyan name? I don't know. Couldn't tell you. That's uh, generalizing it. Um. <laughs> um... You're putting these on roll 20, or...? No, I'm just going to give you a zip file where you can just grab them so you can have a look at them at your leisure, so you don't have to just... It's I don't more... have wind zip! <laughs> when, um, when, um, you can see, like, if we were playing this game in real life, I would have made these physical items which you could just look at whenever you wanted, mm-hmm. so it's a bit harder that I only gave you a chance to briefly look at them. There's a lot of take in as well. Yeah, there's a lot of information um... in this adventure. I'll let me, before you make a decision, let me just send you these handouts. Okay. Okay. Is there any date, like addresses on them or something? Or... Mm. Anyway, that's the zip file with the handouts. Which you... Zippity zip zip. I didn't send you any porn, did I? No. Oh my god, it's trying to install stuff on my computer. <laughs> Is it really? No. <laughs> oh. <laughs> oh, I have to extract it. Where's um... <sighs> it gone? Handouts. Oh, Windows, it kind of opened the... What file format's that? It's a zip file. Uh, yeah. No, so the files that are in. Picture. Yeah. Should just There's be JPEGs. The... Yeah, it's not liking them. Uh... <laughs> like, yeah, the no, majority... I, um, so. I can't open them either. Everything works, like the Cairo letter through to the Shanghai Matchbox. They are JPEGs oh. as well, weird. Is it because of the dot in the front of the name? Oh, wait a minute, don't, this should, there might be hidden file versions of them. There might be two files, right? Yeah, they're all double files, guys. Look at the names. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Uh, it's a Mac thing. All right, okay. So where are these letters from? Where are these letters? What letters? We didn't get the letters, I don't think. Oh, <laughs> the letters. That, okay, never mind, never mind. That's good to have, though. Um... Okay, um... Did he... Can I ask the guy, did he ever speak of a... A, a Silas N. Quinn? <coughs> not to us, I mean... No, not, no, not specifically. 
Okay. And and what's his link with um? Do you know Edward Gavigan when he was in London? Did he ever mention staying with the the uh, Penny Foundation? He, he didn't. We didn't give us like a um. You know, we didn't get like a a, a blow by blow account of his trips <laughs> and stuff. Really, the uh, the notes the notes you showed us is most is pretty much everything we have on him. Okay. Okay. Are we done here. Yeah, I think so. Yeah. Where to? The import place. Hmm. Okay. Right. Going there then. Come on, we're here. <laughs> we're here. <laughs> right. Teleport. So you head across town to the imports place. This is a. Uh, it's like you're, you're down by the docks. This is a um, a long narrow building. Uh, you know, so warehouse. You guys are familiar with warehouses, aren't you? These. Um... <laughs> I'm not. <laughs> Bro, what's a warehouse? <laughs> yeah, what's your funny Ross? Uh, so, th <laughs> so this is so this is a there. There's loading docks at both ends of this building, uh, piled high with freight. Um, there's a small office upstairs at the front. Um, I assume that's where you want to head, right? Yeah. Yeah. Can we get in yes. freely? Or yeah, yeah, because it's, it's open and oh. people are working, loading, unloading, that kind of thing. Um, inside the office is a man in his fifties, Mr. Arthur Emerson. He's like, uh, "Hello, gentlemen. What can I help you with?" <laughs> okay, uh, well, <laughs> I'm investigating the death of a uh, Jackson, Jackson Elias. <laughs> and, uh, do you know the name? Oh yes, uh, the, 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 I don't know him well, but he came in and uh, visited uh, a few days ago. I, um, I, ex I, I have my condolences. He seemed like a he seemed like a very uh, very proper gentleman. Well, just what, uh, could you give us any information, like why he was here? Yeah, he's been. Um, he came in. He was looking to find out uh, Im Im importers um, who, were, who who made uh, you know who worked with Mumbo with Mombo sorry Mombasa, and uh, well you know to be honest we're the only uh, U.S. agent for the uh, Mombasa uh, exporter Aja Aja Singh, um, so I guess that led him to us. We have we we have a name that um, he left on a card called Silas N. Quain. Do you know the name? Yeah, that that doesn't surprise me. Um, so you know we we do in we do uh, import things um, from uh, um, uh, sorry from Mombasa, and um, but the only the only person we we actually deal with is a is a is a place called the Juju House. Uh, I can give you the address of that, and it's and it's a. Uh, and it's uh, it's run by uh, Silas, in fact, and that's exactly what I told uh, told uh, uh, Elias. And what is it that he runs exactly? A juju house. It's uh, uh, it's a shop called the Juju House. It's a shop called the Juju House. Yeah. What do they sell? Uh, juju. <laughs> juju. Shickle. Let me let me just tell you, it's a uh, it's it's a kind of place that I wouldn't necessarily want to want to visit. It's the, Silas is a uh, Silas and his people. They are dark foreigners and bad to boot. The kind of things they deal with and the kind of things they import, not the kind of thing you'd want to put up on the wall at home. When you say dark... That's what he means, yeah. Oh. Mm. This is the 20s after all, so... Still. Did, did you have any idea of what he was interested in getting imported? No, you know... The, the uh the stuff that comes through from to go to the juju house generally i mean we don't open crates anyway unless there's um, something going wrong and they that there was a crate that i'm particularly eager not to open so you, you have a, a crate now that was meant for him no no nothing at the minute oh all oh, right okay sorry <laughs> bless you um thank you that <laughs> frank <laughs> yeah. Um, yeah. Here you go, Frank. Wipe your nose. Oh, thank you. Is there anything else we want to ask here? Uh, Ross. What's, what's this guy's name? This um, Emerson. He's the the oh, owner. Oh, the owner. Right, okay. Okay. Uh, mm, I don't... Is there anything here for Mister? You just asked that. Oh, did you? <laughs> yeah. Desmond did. I just thought I'd double check. All right. <laughs> That's fine. That's fine. No, there's definitely nothing. <laughs> okay. Well, I guess we can give this Juju place a look. Juju. Why Juju? You guys got any shit? No man, that Juju Baja. Can you give me a? Can Whoa. You, um, Rock, can you give me a D6 roll, please? A roll? Yeah, just a, just a, oh, sorry, D7. 
Racist. It's a racism roll. <laughs> Why is Jimmy still... Who's rolling? You. You! Yeah, right. 1d7. Yeah, please. Be right back. I forgot Damn about his pizza. He's forgotten about his pizza in the oven. It's going to be some dirty black frisbee now. <laughs> Whoa! <laughs> what is he... Uh, what was he rolling Stop. for? We not meant to know. Not meant to know. Just, just, um, just checking chance. Here's the voice. I'm anxious. <laughs> I'm anxious. Um, to the juju parlor. Sure, oh, how sh so? Shall we wait for Jimmy? Yeah, wait for oh, Jimmy. A, a D7 roll. That's the most. Dodgy Jimmy said he was ever. taking a dump, so we're gonna have to wait for him. <laughs> I'll, I'll give you a. I'll, 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 um, I'll tell you the D7 roll was me. I was just checking what day of the week it was. Oh. Ah, <laughs> oh, right. Okay. Well, I would assume Tuesday, since the office opens on a Monday. Uh, yeah, but it was it was more a chat, not more, not more. I wasn't checking what day it was for you guys. More what day a, a, a certain event might happen. That's all. Oh. Oh, hi. Someone's gonna die. <laughs> that's just what you what? expect now in this, isn't it? <laughs> yeah, everyone dies. We know how this game goes now. <laughs> that's why I have four more characters lined up. Fair enough, me that dies. I'll kick off. You're right, Frank. You've been quiet. Yeah, I don't really have much to input. <laughs> so I am back. Yeah, there's no libraries yet. <laughs> yeah. He's gonna love. Well, you guys the could line. have done. You guys can do research. You have. You, you've chosen not to. I'm just saying. <gasps> <laughs> Frank's getting any, excited. Are there any magical artifacts that Mr. Emerson? <laughs> <laughs> anyway. So Jimmy wants to know. I want some spells, man. I heard about how Zav died. Right, so you guys are heading hey. over to the Juju house, right? Yeah. The Juju yes. house. Yeah. Gonna buy some stuff with loads of shickles. So Shit. you take the, you take the um the the address from um I forgot his name already. Arthur. Emerson. Emerson. Uh, Emerson. Take the address from Emerson. And head over. the uh, The place is in Harlem, at One Ransom Court, which is a dirty alley off 137th Street, east of Lenox Avenue. This short alley opens into a 20 foot square courtyard. Um, and the only doors from the courtyard are those of the Juju house and of the back door of an abandoned pawn shop, which, you know, from the streets <laughs> on the other side. Um, pawn, pawn that ring of yours, uh, Ross. It's an abandoned pawn. Oh, okay. <laughs> no, try. I'm not pawning my ring, mate. <laughs> it's being mean, I'm sorry. I was off the record. <laughs> <laughs> you weren't winning friends already, aren't you? <laughs> no, no I, I was just overly mean. I apologise. <laughs> Um, um, so hold it. I guess we should go in the juju store. Hold on. Hold on. Hold on. Oh, sorry. I thought you were trying to describe it. <laughs> um, so yeah, this um courtyard. So this courtyard all around it is um is sort of like um the windows of sort of crappy sort of flats and stuff like looking into this courtyard. Um, um, so you know, there's like people living all around. Hello. Someone shouts back. Fuck off. <laughs> That's New York. Yeah. New York. <laughs> New York. New York. Fuck off. Fuck off. <laughs> so the shop front is um. You schmuck. The shop front is a has got a display window and a glass door. Both are curtains, so you can't see anything on the inside of the shop. Uh, shop hours uh, are. Uh, oh, sorry. The display window pieces are African art. And the shop is open nine to five, so it's um, it's open right now. Can we go oh. in? Yeah, if you want. Is it, yeah, let's, let's head on in. Have a look around. Okay, so it's a really small shop. It's only like fifteen by twenty feet, and uh, there's one sort of old seventy-three-year-old man sat buster behind the counter. We can uh, tell he's seventy-three by looking at him. Yeah, you know, he has a seventy-three kind of look. <laughs> <laughs> today, <laughs> he's, got, he's got birthday cards all over the table, all over the glass cabinet, and all around him you can see kind of like um, sort of masks heads. and I mean it's yeah it's a combination of of sort of African African sort of merchandise and little voodoo artifacts kind of thing. Uh, Maybe we could learn some spells here. Yeah, that's a possibility. So you guys think um, about. While they're talking, can I? I'm looking around for this symbol. No one's talking. <laughs> oh well, well, well. Can I look around for that symbol on the sly? Uh, you can. You can. Do you want to roll for spot hidden? Ah, <laughs> uh, yeah. 
Uh, where are we? Roll 20. Nope, you don't see that symbol anyway. <laughs> I roll for spot hidden as well. What's where? in your head? <laughs> and? Oh. You don't see that symbol anywhere. Oh, I'm gonna roll. <laughs> yeah. You don't see that symbol anywhere. <laughs> <laughs> right, uh, we'll, we'll go talk to the guy then, I guess. Hello, sir. Hello. What what can I what can I get for you today? Um, we had a friend that supposedly had dealings with you. I'm just wondering if it, he had anything here. Um, his name was uh, Jackson Elias. Can't say that rings any bells to me. Um, I mean, if he bought something, what did he buy? I don't know. I I mean, the name doesn't ring a bell. Is this Silas Quain? Oh, you've heard of me. It's good to meet you. Hi. Nailed well, it. we we received the we we have this card with your name on it, um, which uh, Jackson gave to us. So, I mean, that's very strange. I've never met the man. Um, Although this card's for um, from my import comp this from the card where I import my stock. Um, I guess he was looking to buy something. Hmm. <sighs> so, where did the right what... name on the card? Yeah. I don't know. I mean, I've never met the man. <laughs> 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 what, what, what are you asking? I don't. I don't. I've never met him. So. Well, I'm just trying to think how he got hold of this then. You wouldn't know anything about um, the god of the Black Wind. Oh, there are many gods, but um, I, you know, I, 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 the way I see it, each to their own. So what about the bloody uh, tongue? And he says, uh, "I, uh, mine's, <laughs> mine's, He says, "Mine, <laughs> mine's fine. Thank you very much." Okay. Tell you what, isn't fine. My ribs. <laughs> oh, telling everyone. Uh. Do you um, have any magical artifacts that we could learn a spell from? <laughs> he's like, um, he's like, oh, you Taurus, all the same, coming down here looking for, looking for a bit of magic. What is it? A love potion you're looking for? I'm serious, man. Uh, <laughs> anti, I'm anti not. Dark stuff. Um, well, what you thought? And you know, Carlisle, he was doing some. Um, Expedition stuff, and he was apparently murdered. Do you know what? Did, how's your, what's your thoughts on that? <laughs> <laughs> what's your thoughts on that? I do you think it's true what they say? Do you think they were Carl, killed by Carl the savages? Who? Or they... He doesn't know. He's saying he doesn't know who Carlisle is. You don't know bloody much, Mister Voodoo Man. <laughs> um, Whoa, Queen, his name is. Oh, I'm not. I'm not... <laughs> um, I mean. Like... It, there's um. By the way, I should mention there's a couple of other people in the shop, and they're just both they're just staring at you now. They're like, you look, you look, like, you look totally out of place. This is Harlem. This is like um, you know, this is a black neighborhood, and you're a bunch of white guys standing around in a shop. They're kind of calling people Mr. Voodoo Man. Yeah, there's well, this well, people. Just... Uh, the people in the shop are all kind of like staring at you, like, what the fuck are you guys doing in here? Look, we just want to buy something. <laughs> what? <laughs> um, what do we want to buy? <laughs> I want to buy something. We need to get out of here, and we need to get out of here on good terms. Give me something <laughs> interesting, um, Silas. Serious. Silas. Silas. <laughs> well, what would you like? You know, I've got a girl at home. I just want to get her a gift. What something that will creep this? around. All right. So he does look around, and he um he just pulls like something out from under the counter, and it's like um. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> it's like <laughs> <"Dunk."> <laughs> big butt plug. <laughs> big total. <laughs> Yeah, it's a it's a it's a totem, and it's got a big grinning face on the end of it, <laughs> and he's like, "This your girlfriend will love it." <laughs> what are you implying? Five dollars. I'll, I'll take it. I'll take it. Oh. Could bop somebody on the head with that later. <laughs> you now you can add a totem. You leave use like magic. You've got a wooden totem now. Oh, God. How how much do you say? Five five dollars. Oh my God. What? I paid like. One dollar for third, like twenty shotgun shots. This is this world we live in. I don't know. This guy doesn't seem to be letting up much information, Harry. If we had Trent here to intimidate. Well, I can intimidate. Well, feel free, Jimmy. But Give me some spells. <laughs> <laughs> you actually gonna try that? No, no. Uh, I'm not gonna waste that. No. So he might have some spells. I don't know. You, you, you. I don't know. We can't even ask him though. 
Have you got Which... any books or anything, Silas? Books about your um, at the tribesmen. Yeah. Um, as you're talking, one of the um, one of the other people in the shop steps over and says, "I think it's time for you guys to leave. You've bought you've bought your trinkets now. Maybe time for you to finish slumming it." I'm gonna say, "Back well, off." <laughs> yeah, I'm not. I'm not taking shit from these cunts. <laughs> 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 like, listen. <laughs> Listen, I just want to buy. I'm just intrigued. It's fascinating. This stuff. I'm sorry. Yeah, don't make us get the hose pipe. Okay, and two more gentlemen step forward, and oh, one I of them, one of them, off. and one of them has the, um, you know, the symbol that was carved into Jackson Elias's head. He has it on yeah. his head. Oh, okay. And he's oh, like, that's pretty. survived. And he's like, um, <laughs> he's like, <laughs> really, gentlemen, I think it's time to leave. I think we should get out and watch this guy leave and see where he goes. No, I think we should take him on. I don't think we should. I think this guy, what's the guy look like? Is he big? Yeah, he's big. Oh, he's big. We learn <laughs> bad things. Is, is he fish big or... Or Cameron big? He's like Cameron big. <laughs> can we, I'm, yeah, when, when, when this is played back, can we show a picture of Cameron briefly? Yeah, sure. <laughs> <laughs> Okay. Um, I think we should. I think we should get out of here now. But I do think we should follow this guy. All right. Let's Lift leave. It. Let's back out. Okay. We'll be back. Mm-hmm. Happy birthday, Elias. In a bit. Elias is <laughs> dead. <Yeah>. Silas. Silas. <laughs> whatever your name is. Silas. Mr. Quain. He says. Mr. Quain. He says. Uh, thank you for. Thank you for your custom. Um. And that's it, and you guys are leaving you right back in the courtyard outside. I don't trust this guy. Uh, one of the gonna... one of the guys from inside the shop sta- comes outside um, and stands by the door, just like sort of leaning against the wall, watching you guys. Why don't you take a picture? It lasts longer. <laughs> <laughs> gets out, he gets out. He gets out like his um, phone. It's like gets his phone. Yeah, gets like, phone, <laughs> yeah, right. gets, like a vine. <laughs> and then I get out a knife and I go here, and I hold it like this. <laughs> <laughs> and he's and he's like he's like I've heard about you and knives and he laughs. Yeah. <laughs> Ooh, he knows. Is this the guy with the thing on his? No, it's not. No. Next to his head. <laughs> Are you really doing all this? <laughs> oh, do I? I could roll. Don't, for it. don't, Jimmy. You might, you might. If you roll wrong and instead of hitting next to the door, just. Thump. Is um. <laughs> boys run. <laughs> is this courtyard enclosed? Could we, like, say, bring it on and take him into the courtyard? Well, you're in the courtyard, yeah. I mean, it's just... Okay, we're in the courtyard. Okay. I don't want to do wait, that. Wait, 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 wait. Who have you heard about my throwing skills from? It was, like, everyone in New York knows. <laughs> oh. That's, that, 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 50 that's, cent. That sounds fishy. <laughs> 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 this is how he throws. This is how he throws. <laughs> <laughs> Then I'll also know about my gun skills. <laughs> that was just a little sock. I can't do it. Um, <laughs> I think we should just come out. What's that? What's that? I'm serious here. This is serious. What's that mark on your pal's head? He, he doesn't reply to you. He just looks at you. So rude. Is it a tramp stamp? <laughs> <laughs> he's like, he's like are, are you a tramp stamp? Oh, this guy is doing my head in. I, I will say, sh- it, well, <laughs> you're a bellend. <laughs> <laughs> Absolute helmet. <laughs> um, I I'll think... be sneak, like sneak in or something. I don't, th- don't think I could sneak straight past him. What? No, but wasn't, wasn't there? If any of you are good at sneaking a lot picking, we could always. See what's Back with that pawn shop that was. Yeah, I think we should pretend to walk out the alley to see if he goes back in the shop because I don't want anyone seeing us do it. Can we pretend <laughs> to nick you can, off? You can leave. You can go leave. We'll we'll leave and hide on the sleeve. Make like a tree. After you guys leave the alley, you can hear the door go behind you. So. Yes. <laughs> I run, back, I run back and knock on the door and then run away. <laughs> <laughs> you Throw do, the you do the that three or four <laughs> times. <laughs> just the totem. <laughs> I just throw a knife and stick it in the door. 
<laughs> yeah. Oh yeah, knife in the door. <laughs> <laughs> Butterfingers, Jimmy. Hey, I got some good throws. I know. A coin oh. from the other side of a amphitheater. You did, you did. Should we try and sneak in the pawn shop? Yeah. Because nobody's there now. That guy's not there. Is that right? Is he back? Yeah, in? Yeah, he's back in. He's back in there. Okay. I guess we'll have a look in the. Or, or, or maybe you could listen and see if they mumble anything to each other. Yeah, I'll shove me a ear against that door. Yeah, give me a roll on that. Roll the shit out of it. Surely I can hear. Is that a good score? I don't know. Your listen is forty-one. Is Johnny uh, throwing? Right. Can, can I push that roll? Well, only thing, if, if you got good reason. He he really pushes his ear against the door. <laughs> like I slightly open the door ever so slightly. <laughs> I just watched that video. I've heard people talking about that. <laughs> what? Oh, so yeah, I just think there's there's um there's Jimmy's knife throwing skills. Hey, shut. <laughs> I don't. I don't like your attitude. <laughs> I've never seen a video. <laughs> really? <laughs> That's brilliant. Right. So, um, so what are you doing? You, you're listening. You failed yeah. to listen. Uh, yeah, yeah. I open the door slightly. Um, yeah. Well, you're gonna open the door and try again. Yeah, like just ever so slightly, just so I, I thought this was the, we were going to the back door or something. No, he's trying to listen in at the um, shop door. Oh, yeah, right, okay. See if they say anything when they're going back in. All right, if, but you, okay, but if you if you if you fail this this thing, they're going to catch you. I don't care. I will bust. <laughs> All right, go on. We'll bust them up if need be. Bang. Oh shit! Oh, so fuck. you <laughs> crack the door slightly to try and listen, and then you, 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 the curtain pulls back, and there's a, there's a, your mate just stands there, <laughs> like you're you're looking up, and he's just looking down at you. I'd like to return this totem. Must <laughs> 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 be, be fast talk. And he, um, Okay, go on, roll, go on, roll, <laughs> roll fast. Up. I really don't think she's gonna like this one. Have you got another one? <laughs> Forty-two. He says, uh, he, he's, he's, he, he, the guy. It's not the shop owner here. It's the other. It's the other guy who was watching. Oh. He um, he opens the door and um, he says, uh, no refunds. And okay. then and then slams the door and closes the curtain. Listen again. <laughs> 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 this curtain thing. What's what's this curtain? I explained that this is the glass. It was gla the, there's a glass door and a glass thing, but they're curtained. Yeah. Gotcha. Gotcha. So we can't just look in, like. <laughs> I don't want to now. Um. I I, I, just... I would listen. Yeah. Well, let's listen. use our law skills to force him to give us a refund. <laughs> you take him to court and spend a week like <laughs> negotiating. <laughs> there we go. Finally, I'm useful. <laughs> I'll do the law thing. I'll, I just want to know. No, <laughs> don't do that. <laughs> Phoenix well, right over what, here. What about what about the two robed uh, guys that uh, the police have in custody? Oh yeah. Um, should we go? Should we go question them? Will we be allowed to? I'm sure I can put the warden. Yeah, let's do that. Yeah. yeah. Should half stay oh. here and do the pawn shop? <laughs> mm, I think that may be dangerous. <laughs> yeah, we could all yeah. do it and then go to the police station. Okay, I think we should do that because I don't want to waste a trip here. I mean, we could. But so I you, agree. I agree. So what are you trying to do? This right, pawn I tried shop. the doorknob. Is this relevant? So the abandoned pawn shop is the doors locked. Pick. Give me a roll on your lock pick. I've upgraded me pick as well. So pick in the lock. Pick, 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 pick. Ah, that's not enough. Our rolls have been shit. Uh, yeah, you don't, you can't, you can't get, you can't get in. You can, your lockpick doesn't work. You're, at, you're, you're, ah! starting, you're starting to think this kit you bought's rubbish. It is shit. Okay, I guess. Just... Can we try and see through the window? See if there's anything in there. Or... The <laughs> give, give me the totem, yeah. and I'll just throw it through the window. It's um, it's not. It's, it's like a, so this is the back door to the place, so it's like um, it's um, it's, it's not a window there. It's like um, for the pawn shop. Well, anyway. that that totem's pretty big. I'll throw it at the door. I'll like burst it open. How big is it? Like a battery. <laughs> 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 
I guess we're done here. I can't push that. Why don't we try and bust through the door? Um, if you want to see what's inside the pawn shop, you probably you could probably see from the front. Um, oh. This is the back entrance. <laughs> oh, yeah. Okay. Well, we'll go there, see if you want. Yeah. So you leave the alleyway, you go around, and it's just, um, it, it was definitely a pawn shop at one point, but like in now it's like the shelves are pretty much bare and there's a layer of dust on everything. It's like just an abandoned place. Oh. <clears throat> well, police station? Yeah. Yeah. I'm going to see if I can get my food out of the oven whilst <laughs> we go to the police station. <laughs> Ugh. <sighs>